on the international scene. As a matter of fact, uh, 1981 was the first time we heard of them internationally. That was at Skate America when they were third. They were second in the uh, Soviet National, uh, at least fifth in the Soviet Nationals just last year. So they came back to win Skate America this year and then won the silver medal in the European Championships. And they came from behind to catch Underhill and Martini and knock them out of second place in the short program. Tremendous timing on that lift. Oh, nice little move on the end there as he flipped her around. Now this is what I mean when I say that Paris has taken a step forward because because of the restrictions of the amount of lift, they can put in different exits which makes it much more interesting. come up with a lot of unique moves such as this one this one glide they're not very difficult but they are a little different and then they change position to one like this <laughs> the choice of music is very interesting i don't know if i would have chosen as a skater but they're certainly doing interesting moves to it and using it well year that these judges have had to look at these pair skaters under the new international rules. And it's going to be interesting to see how they mark uh, the final two or three. Because that kind of one-handed lift is the kind of a thing that used to be the ooh and the ah before. Now with those soft landings and the quieter music. Seconds left for Belova and Basilia. Trying to hold on to the silver medal. They have planned here a combination of side-by-side -side jumps, starting with the Russian split jump, double sow cow, another double toe, and into an Arabian. A unique performance by Belova and Basilia. A few little holes in it here and there. Well, overall, I thought it was a strong performance. Even though they're not their own national champions, I think that they outskated their teammates tonight. 
It all now depends what the judges will think of their performance here and how Underhill and Martini skate as to the final results, and that'll be happening in the next five and ten minutes as we see Elena and Oleg go th through some of their individual jumps. This one, triple toe loops, very difficult for individuals, let alone pair skaters. And here's the throw triple salco off a of back inside edge. Three revolutions, and she has a bit of a problem on the landing too far forward. The leg flew up in the back, and that made the body go forward. So we'll have to wait and see these marks and see if the judges leave enough room up there for Underhill and Martini in case Underhill and Martini skate as well as they're capable of skating, and we certainly hope that that will be the case. Waiting expectantly with their coach. That's while we do. Uh, we can tell you that Wilson and McCall are young dance couple together for the first time are in seventh place. Johnson and Thomas are in 13th. That was after the compulsories. I was going to wait for Velova and Vasiliev of the Soviet Union. And they are, oh, the Russian judge gives them a 5-9. Then we have a 5-8, 5-9, 5-7, 2-5-8, 5-6, and 2-5-7s. And that's for technical merit, even though they touch down. It's way too high, John. That 5-9 particularly, that's nearly a 6.0 perfect. And although they had a very good performance, uh, they didn't deserve that high of a mark. That means that puts them ahead of Tassilio and uh, Bess and, and Tierbeck. They're shaking their heads that they can't believe that uh, maybe they don't know yet, but we'll know now because as we look at the second set of marks, two five eight, five nine five nine five nine five nine, and three five eight. That's incredible.